What's up, Internet? I'm not a healthy guy. I don't exercise and I don't watch what I eat. My work means I'm sitting down a lot, replying to messages, and getting stressed when stuff like this happens. When I do have free time, I'm sitting down, getting stressed, when stuff like this happens. Oh, oh, crap! Crap! Ah! There's so many rats, how can you tell which one you're supposed to know? <laughs> In short, I stay put a lot because of this thing. But it's also because of the computer that I'm getting healthier, just like you'll be less stressed if you activate Windows using our sponsor. So waka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes Legit, safe, at pinakamura Madali lang umorder Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo Piliin ang preferred payment method Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo Marami na kaming natulungan Dati Said and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com. Check out cdkoffer.com. Check out cdkoffer.com. As PC guys, we like our data. Ano ba XMP setting ko? Kasi medyo unstable yung build ko. Or is my CPU too hot on load? And then based on that data, we act upon it. And it's this PC habit of getting baseline data and then acting upon it that has really helped me with my health. To be fair, before, I was getting some activity, pero hindi ko alam ano yung baseline data ko. And that only changed when I have to walk the dog every day. One time, I accidentally brought my cell phone, tas nako on yung GPS niya. Rene record pala niya yung steps ko. And as it turned out, I was doing more than 2K a day just because of the dog's walk. Tapos yung data, parang chocolate yan, candy, parang sugar. It's addicting. Once you get a taste for data, you want more and more. So yun nangyari sa akin, after I got the not so granular data via my cell phone, ilang steps, gano kalayo, I wanted more and I bought a Fitbit. So I have to walk 2.5 kilometers every day because of this guy. No gonna dog needs his exercise and nobody can bring him except me. And it's a real pain in the butt to walk. And now with the fitness tracker, it's feeding my obsession. I wear it all the time. Because the longer you wear it, yes, you're getting more data. So na meet mo ba yung steps mo, na meet mo ba yung distance mo, na meet mo ba yung heart rate mo. But at the same time, it also needs a baseline to determine other things like are you sleeping? Are you sleeping properly? And the longer you wear it, the better it knows you. Supposedly, the better the data it can gather from you. Tapos nagulat ako sa sarili ko kasi yun nga, dati wala akong interest at all in being fit. To be honest, it was enough na makagising ako, do my stuff, run around, make sure I don't keel over at the end of the day. Bare minimum fitness requirements. But now, because of the fitness tracker, ayun, I usually track three basic things. Number of steps, resting heart rate, and hours of sleep. For those three parameters, I do have data now and I've been trying to tweak them accordingly. The resting heart rate ko around 69 to 70, that's not bad, but I'd really like it closer to around low 60s, so around 60, 58. And because I have a number in mind that I want to reach, I can push myself further and I can see if doing more exercises, doing more intense exercises, kahit mabilis lang, is helping me get to that goal. And data leads to more data. Yun nga, I want to get my resting heart rate down. That means I need to get my zone minutes up. That means I need to get my steps up. Data interacts with other data. All fueling uh, yung medyo addiction for more data. <laughs> it's a very sick cycle. 
but in this case, a healthy cycle. In addition to the data provided by Fitbit, I also weigh myself once a week and I'm at around 148 pounds now with 18% body fat. Again, not bad for my age and my height, pero yun nga, room for improvement. Gusto ko sana around 140 pounds and around 15% body fat. As with other types of data, that just feeds me to try to hit my numbers better. And don't get me wrong, I still love my desserts. Hardware Sugar is the name of the store for a reason. I love sugar, so I'm still getting my desserts in. But in the back of my mind, I can hear myself think, well, you know, still have it, but maybe save the last piece, don't finish all of it, enjoy it, but you'll also enjoy the way in come Monday when you see that, well, at least di ako nag-gain even though I didn't lose. As with all data, kung magagalit ka, kung matutuwa ka, nasa eye of the beholder yun. And I don't push myself to the extremes to get the numbers I want if doing so means that I cut out other things that I also like. Like dessert. So this is not a new thing for me. I've been doing it around for 9 months now. Nakadalawang Fitbit na ako. Kasi the first one I bought Feb 20 or March 2022, nasira ka agad. It was the latest model, the Fitbit Charge 5, and I went swimming with it. Narrated naman siya, water resistant siya, so it should have been just fine. But, naging wonky na siya after that swim. Parang, it seems like nasira yung battery calibration because it just keeps draining. Usually, these guys, they can go on for several days without charging, even if I wear mine all the time. But that one, mga dalawang oras lang, namamatay na yung battery. I got that one from Amazon, so mahirap to return, unfortunately. And that's one tip. Yes, buying online abroad seems like a good deal. Mura rin talaga yung mga presyo. But at the same time, kung magka problema, mahirap yung customer service experience. And I'm not just talking about fitness trackers. Siyempre, nag apply na rin yan sa mga computers. So you may want to consider a local PC store like, alam mo na, who you should consider. But, yun nga, kahit nasira siya kagad, yung Charge 5, medyo obsessed na nga talaga ako. So I went to FD Marketplace and I got this Charge 4. Nag-step down ako in generation, second hand. Sobrang mura niya compared to the newest gen and brand new na Charge 5. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you know I'm all about saving money. And one of the tips is that using second hand and using the previous gen is actually still quite good. I actually prefer the Charge 4 now actually. I can do a more in-depth side-by-side but that's for another video. But suffice to say the Charge 4 was much cheaper and it gets the job done. And its battery life is still very good kahit second hand. Fitbit does recognize that basically yung trabaho niya is to feed your data obsession, your health analytics obsession. So every week, pinapadalan ka ng summary. The number of steps, your resting heart rate, number of hours of sleep. You can add friends and compete with them in terms of numbers. And all of that is to encourage you to hit those numbers, to get the kind of data that you want. And to be honest, because I have feedback, because I can see the data, niinis ako sa sarili ko when I miss a day of exercise. Usually, kasi at least every day, dinalakad ko yung aso. Sometimes now, because of the data, I know I need to get a more strenuous exercise. Matanda na si Logan, and he can't run anymore, basically. So, medyo mababa yung heart rate ko even while exercising. So, I also try to do high intensity, low interval. Na I run up and down our stairs, or I flat out run down the street and back down again, just to very temporarily get my heart rate up. And for when whatever reason, di ako exercise for one day, tas kita ko may butas dun sa schedule of exercises ko, dun sa weekly summary ni Fitbit, I do get annoyed. So, there's that feedback because you can see it visually na iba eh, parang it's different knowing in your head, oh, I miss Tuesday as an exercise day. Tapos makita mo yung weekly summary, ay o nga, I miss Tuesday as an exercise day. And that's the whole beauty of data, just pushing you and presenting it to you in a way that you can more easily appreciate na, okay, I don't want that to happen again. I want to get these numbers down and let's try to be better moving forward. So I can thank my PC habit for fueling my obsession with data. It's not all bad. Yung parang mindset natin na measure what is measurable and then act on that. Bagay rin siya for other hardware because basically, yung katawa natin, is hardware with the software, of course, residing in our head, and how we tweak that hardware, how we can improve it, follows the same principles as we're familiar with with tweaking your PC. So, kung nakaupo ka all day at your office, at your home office, at home, and you do need that little push, 
take it from me, ako wala akong pake dati sa activity rate ko. Again, not the most fit guy. But now, I still don't go to the gym. But at least I can say na medyo okay naman yung numbers ko. And I have the data to back that up. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.